The StructurePoint software suite is widely used for the analysis, design, and investigation of concrete buildings, such as this mid-rise building with a flat plate floor system and a reinforced concrete shear wall for lateral load resistance. Columns and walls are supported on single, combined, wall, or mat foundations. Each StructurePoint software module is used by engineers worldwide for the analysis, design, and investigation of a wide variety of concrete structures and individual concrete elements, such as beams, slabs, columns, walls, and foundations. This building features various one-way and two-way slab systems that can be handled by SP-beam and SP-slab respectively. Several slab systems are illustrated here. Flat plate, slab on beams, flat slabs, one-way joist system, and one-way continuous beams. C-shaped core walls can be investigated by SP Column. The various foundation configurations can be modeled by SP Mats, which utilizes the finite element method. This two-story building has a two-way joist floor system, commonly known as a waffle slab, and can be modeled by SP Slab. This four-story building features solid load-bearing walls on wall footings and can be modeled by SP Wall and SP Mats respectively. The floor is a one-way joist floor system that can be designed by SP Beam. This next building features load-bearing walls with openings and coupling beams which can be designed by SP Wall which utilizes the finite element method. The two-story building shown illustrates various vertical support conditions such as masonry wall supports, shear wall supports, girder supported beams, pin, fixed, and partial moment connection options that can be modeled as boundary conditions in SP beam and SP slab. Lastly, SP frame can be utilized to analyze the three-dimensional building frame that is shown. The powerful suite of StructurePoint software works quickly, simply, and accurately, and helps engineers worldwide to realize cost-effective and innovative structural solutions.